Hello there guys and welcome back, this is Drift and this is the U-Squad Regents with South Engine United. We are amazing, we're top of the league, we're beating everybody, no one can stop us. It's only a matter of time before we win the Premier League in our first season there. Um, we're into April now, so let's go ahead and have a look at a squad report for you guys, see how we're getting on. First up is his quid is a 74, Belhurst is 71 plus 4, Drock is a 73 plus 4, McCook is 74 plus 3, Morsey is 71, Bua is a 67 plus 1, Alonso is a 78 plus 3, Oliver is a 74 plus 3, Drilok is a 79 plus 2, and Dudes is a 78 plus 3, Aluhu is a 75 plus 3, Perez is a 75 plus 4, Jardim 64, Rodriguez 69 plus 3, Robesco is a 70 plus 1, Flinders is a 68 plus 2, Melo is a 69, Goretzka is 66 plus 4, Lopez Garcia 75 plus 2, Gattari 66. Even off 63, two fours are 75 plus 4, Use a 70 plus 1, Nunes is a 65, Cabrat 72 plus 1, Thurtle 62 plus 1, Browns a 55 plus 2, Atkins is a 63 plus 2, Katarina is a 70 plus 3, Kellers a 57 plus 1, Vilna is a 68 plus 3, Maserani is a 69 plus 3, Hurd is a 49 plus 4, Figueroa is a 68 plus 3, Mullins is a 73 plus 3, Ramak is a 72 plus 1, Panier is a 67, Kiera is a 70 plus 3, Oli Hall is a 67 plus 2, Mendoza is a 70 plus 3, and Karenshi is a 70 plus 4, and that concludes your squad report. Hurd has gone up the 4 points then, he's up to 49 overall now, and I'm going to recall him from his loan deal so he can grow even more back in the squad. Also got the scout reports coming through now, so from Brazil we get a 67 we'll reject, a 77 we'll reject, and an 80 we will reject. And from New Zealand we get a 76 we'll reject, a 90 we will continue to look at, and an 83 we'll reject. And then from Japan we get Kurkawa, who's a 69-94, who we will sign up. We get Matsuro, who's a 77 we'll reject, and we get a 76 we will reject that. First game of the episode then is against the Swansea, it's at home. Let's get into it and hopefully we can continue this fine form. Here are your kits for the match. Here's your starting lineup then with Perez coming in for the injured Alonso. Jaloka and Oliveira join him in midfield. Luhu and Ndu up top. Buwa, Valhersha wing back. Strocker, Mokuki, Smorgazi, your centre backs. And his Quido in goal. Okay, another wet and windy day. We're at home this time. It should be a more comfortable performance for us against Swansea, who are not quite as good as teams we've been playing recently. Let's hope it's an easier game. We don't have to come from behind once again. Swansea all the way down in 16th, so it should be more comfortable, but let's wait and see. Look for him do early. We find him. Has he got the pace to get away from the defence? They're coming for him. Oh, he's running too far, is he? He has. Oh, and where's this ball going? They get it away. Well, they were nervous there in defence. It's a great start, and it looks promising. And Do's going to have to come back. And he's going all the way himself. Look at this. He's on his right foot. What can he do? Oh, he's hit the side net, and I thought he was going to score, but it was his weaker, weaker foot. But he's looking really good against this defence. He's causing all kinds of trouble, and he just cuts across it too much there. Oh, Archilocker's feet, magic, on his right foot. Oh, it's a good save for the goalkeeper, but he shouldn't be allowed to get anywhere near it. Oh, that's well played by Richards. This is magical stuff. Ball to the edge of the box for Young. Mitroglu tries to turn. Oh, and Perez is a battler. He's a warlord. Somehow they've got it in. This is a real chance, and they have scored. It's 1-0 to Swansea. We're going to have to come from behind again. We've had the chances to take the lead, and we've not taken them. So we've still got hopeful opportunities to get back into this game. That's a really good bit of play there, strong in the tackle, and it's an easy finish in the end. Oh, and dude's just turned him inside out here. On his left foot, and he's hit the goalkeeper again. What's going on here? This is incredible. And they get the ball away. And dude's in here. Can he do something this time? It's magical. And he has scored this time, but it's only a matter of time. He's had so many chances, and he doesn't normally miss that many. Come on, boys. This is beautiful. Look at the little turn as he drops his right shoulder. Defender's committed too far, cross, and it's an easy finish on his right foot. The goal has got no chance this time, he's had a fun game so far, but he's not saving this one. And the referee blows, it's half time, it's one all. We've been dominating this game, we've had so many chances. We've taken one in the end, and I'm sure we'll come away with the three points if we keep playing this way. A nice ball over the top again. It's Taylor this time, gets his ball across. They've won the header and thought Sigurdsson had rose really well, got his header on target, but he just put it wide. We've got a tackle in eventually, it was a strong one too. And Do looks like he wants to run at the defence. Plays in a Luhu. 
and dude's made his run. We're finding him here. Surely the defender hasn't got the pace to keep up with him. On his right foot again. He's gone left footed and he's dropped it into the bottom corner. Two quick fire goals for Hernan Du and he's turned the game on its head once again. You can always rely on him to score a couple of goals per game. This is a great run, the pace, the power. Defenders all over him but he's not got anything on him. Nice finish. Oh, Luhu skips around his man with ease. And Du's made another run. Can we find him? We have done. He's not going to be able to score from this position though. Finds Luhu who will. Bashes it into the roof of the net. That's a fucking brilliant finish. Oh, I swore. Sorry. I was trying to avoid doing that but I got a little bit excited there. It's a great cut back, and he's in so much space, and he doesn't hold back, and he, it's just a great finish. Doesn't need to be that good, but you know, he is that good. Finders gets back with his long legs, good lad, and again. Oluhu looks like he wants the ball, he points to where he wants it, has he got the pace to get away though? Goes for the chip, oh he's hit the crossbar, it's a cheeky little effort, he should have just put it in the goal. He was trying to do something a bit different. Goes for the chip, it's the worst replay you're ever going to see. And here we go now, this is a counter-attack, if I've ever seen one. Mellor's made his run. The defender's coming. Oh, it's magic. He's made the goalie look a little bit silly. And it's 4-1, South End. Swansea going down now. Fantastic result. They took the lead, they thought they were going to win. But it was all day long for us. We're too good up front. And Mellor, nice little play there. Nothing the goalie's doing about that. Oh, look who's around his man this time. Can he produce a finish? The defender's coming. He's got a cut back. Oh, he's been wiped out of the game, ref. It's a really bad tackle. And this could be 5 1 now. Oluhu, the man who wins the penalty, gets up to take it. Brushes off the scrape he got in the tackle. And can he put the ball in the net? He's missed. That's a disappointing strike from the lad. But it's alright, it wasn't an important one, but he should have been putting it away. The goalie hasn't moved, and it whistles past the post. And the referee blows for full time. Great result for us again, could have been five with the penalty miss at the end there. But we don't mind, it's all about the three points at the end of the day. And what a performance from the boys, we looked absolutely fantastic today. Second game of the episode then is an away game to Liverpool. Going to be another tricky game, let's see how we get on. And here are your kits going into the game. He's just starting line up then with Robasco coming to the centre of midfield. He's moaning he's not getting enough game time, so let's put him in and see how he gets on. And do Aluhu up front, Jaloka Oliveira in midfield, Valhurst, Bua, Morsi, Makukis, and Drocco make up the back five, and his Quido's in goal. Here we go then. It's away to Liverpool. Is it going to be a really tricky game this at Anfield? The crowd are going to be on their side, obviously, and it's going to be a really, really tricky task. Here's the Liverpool side then Barini and Kashke up top, Sterling, Henderson, Hamsik. And they've got Varane and Skirtle in the centre back. They've got some really good players. It's going to be a really difficult game. They're going to be a strong team. Let's hope we can put them down to the sword. Bua needs to shut down the angles here. It's another good ball in. They get the header and it's a fantastic goal. It's Kashke. I've no idea who this guy is, but it's a fantastic goal. And my word, what a bullet of a header. Let's watch this again. It's a nice cross into the box. And yeah, there's nothing we're doing about that. Oh, he's just pushed Rocco out of it. And it's fantastic. Defence is coming across. They find a Luhu on his left foot. Ah, and Alberto comes across. It's Moreno who gets a block. Well played. Oh, we've committed ourselves and missed the tackle. And we've just fouled Sterling, but it's okay. And then Kashke turns and his quid has to put it around the post. Come on, boys, this is dangerous now. Luhu. He's under it. He's headed away from the goalkeeper. And Luhu's missed it. Here's Hamsik. Lovely back heel that. And he's back. And it should be all over now, yep. It's half time at 1-0 to Liverpool. We've still got the chance to get back into this, but we haven't created anything yet. And this could be an upset on the cards. Kashke gets his strike away. Oh my god, he's just scored an absolute wonder goal. I can't believe that. And it's 2-0 now, and we're really up against it. He's happy with that. I'm not surprised. This is a wonder strike. I thought Robasco was going to get his leg around him and get the ball away. He was up inside his chuff. And he just whacks it. And it's top corner. It's unreal. He's under a lot of pressure. Here's a Luhu on his left foot. He gets his strike away. It's deflected. Oh, Jaloka can't bring it under his spell. And that was a real opportunity there. Unlucky, lads. And here's Sterling now. 
in a dangerous position. He's got through one tackle to the edge of the area. This is dangerous. And they've put it wide. We're lucky. Come on, we've got 10 minutes to score two goals. Suito Aluhu. He's had the strike and it's a worse shot. It was on his right foot, but all he had to do was tap it and it would have been in. And we're really short at the back here. If they get this ball over the top, we're in trouble. We can't even get the ball at our feet. Oh, this is an interesting ball. Come on, Aluhu, you can win this. He has done. Play the 1 2. He's got a chance. It's on his left. He's had the strike. You can't finish that and do. Come on. We've got one. We've not got long to go. It's the scrappiest goal we've scored for a while. But it'll do. Liverpool just keeping the possession now. It's going to be all over. There's nothing we can do about this. I'm not going to get the ball back. Be lucky if we don't concede. Oh, that's magical stuff. It's a real chance. I don't want Patel to score. He's an idiot. Oh, and they've scored. We were all out of attack. We had to try our best. Liverpool just kept the ball and were time wasting for ages. And there was nothing we could do against the uh, goal in the end. We tried our best. We got one back, but it was always going to be a hill to climb to get two. And it's looking like it's going to be Liverpool that stops the South End United train. And it is the full time whistle blows. It's 3 1 to Liverpool. We were disappointing in truth. We never really created anything. But we did have some chances we could have done better with. The goalie said good strikes. But Liverpool always looked comfortable in possession and always looked like they were going to get the result. So our 11-game winning streak in the Premier League has come to an end then. But it doesn't matter too much because Manchester City and Spurs both lost their games as well. So it's no big loss for us as it turns out. Next match is against West Brom at home. Let's see if we can get back into the winning ways. Here are your kids. Here we go then. We're looking to bounce back from that disappointing result against Liverpool. It's West Brom. It should be a comfortable game at home. It's a nice sunny day. Conditions are good for football. Let's see how we get on. Here's a look at the South End United team then. It's pretty normal. Apart from Mellors coming up top to join Undo. Jaloka, Robesco, Oliveira in midfield. Hurd's coming at left back. Morsi, Makukis, Drocco centre back. Zabel Hurst right back. And his Quido is in goal. Oh, Hurd does well. Gets fouled. He's probably going to be down for a little while after that one. It's nasty. Have a strike from range, it's not the worst one you're ever going to see, but it goes way over. Mello reacts the fastest here. He's coming forward now. He's cut on his left. He's got nowhere ready to go. Oh, he's been whacked in the box, that's a disgusting tackle. He's got to go in the book for that. He was such a desperate lunge, and he picks up a yellow for that. So it's going to be Mello then with the chance to put us in the lead at half time. Last kick of the half, what can he do? Let's have a little look. It's gone top left. And he struck it top left and there's nothing the goalie's doing about that. It's a fantastic penalty. Happy days. Watching the goalkeeper as he comes in and then smacks it through for the net. You're not stopping that, mate. And it was pretty much the last kick of the half then. We take the 1-0 lead in as we go. And it's all good. All the way on his own here. He's on his left foot. What can he do? Oh, Ndu can do something with it. He's followed it in with a header. It's another goal for Ndu. Mello does all the hard work and Ndu just picks up the pieces. Here we go. Mello goes really all the way. Went for a cheeky little chip and he just clipped it against the post. It was a nice little effort. And Ndu just follows it in. And it's another great goal. Oh, this could be a goal. Oh, it's Quido, you legend. He's pulled off a magnificent save there. Mello skips around his man. Gets the ball a little bit stuck under his feet, but he has got the pace to get away. He's seen and do. It's a great ball in. Oh, and he's put it wide. I went for the triple tap low cross, and I tapped it with his left foot, and I thought he couldn't miss. And it's unlucky. Esquido looks to get this ball up the pitch then. He's had a hammer. Not a bad ball, and the referee blows his full time whistle. It's all over here. 2 0, a comfortable result. We didn't have to try too hard. And it was nice and easy in the end. Okay guys, that's the end for this episode then. We finished with a victory, a 2-0 win there. We've got one game in hand over Manchester City and a current 12-point lead over them as well. So we look to extend that to 15 if we can win that game in hand. Not long left until the end of the season and we've pretty much got it in the bag. Let's just relax now, take it easy and see if we can follow through and win the Premier League. Hope you enjoy the episode guys. Until next time, drift out.